Welcome to the Rory Academy YouTube channel. We share valuable information about power electronics technology and its emerging applications. We have a great announcement to make. Coming soon, we will launch a platform for power electronics technology-based developers. Introducing the brand new www.roryacademy.com. This will be a first online platform where the design, development, and prototyping of power electronics-based systems and products will be learnt and ideas shared through on-demand courses, webinars, tests, and evaluation kits developed and sold, and a forum for the curious minds. All our YouTube subscribers will have access to one-year free membership, which attracts 10% discount on all products. Remember, think deep, think beautifully. Today, we will conduct a comparative analysis of the inverter structures utilized in the Tesla Model 3 and the BMW i.x3. This evaluation will involve a detailed teardown of each inverter system, allowing for a critical examination of their essential components. The Tesla Model 3 is a battery electric midsize sedan with a fastback body style, produced by Tesla Incorporated. It was introduced in 2017. The BMW 93, on the other hand, is the electric version of the popular BMW X3, known for its excellent refinement and impressive range between charges. The Tesla Model 3 has an estimated battery capacity of 60 kilowatt hours, delivering a range of about 260 miles. In contrast, the BMW 93 has an 80 kilowatt hour battery, providing up to 279 miles of range. Using a 150 kilowatt charger, the Tesla Model 3 can be charged from 20% to 80% in approximately 20 to 35 minutes. Similarly, the BMW 93 can reach 80% charge in just 34 minutes. Let's look at the high voltage components of the Tesla Model 3 and the BMW 93. The Tesla Model 3 operates at approximately 355 volts, while the BMW 93 operates at around 400 volts. The Tesla Model 3 includes components such as the air conditioning compressor, cabin heater, high voltage battery service panel, charging port, high voltage cabling, and both the front and rear drive units. In contrast, the BMW 93 features a central charging unit with 150 kilowatts for direct current, DC, and 11 kilowatts for alternating current, AC. It has a combined charging system for both types and includes an electric motor, power electronic system, and transmission in its drive unit. The BMW iX3's high voltage battery has a capacity of 74 kilowatt hours, providing a range of over 440 kilometers, and consists of 10 modules with a total of 188 prismatic cells. The Tesla Model 3's drive unit includes a motor, inverter, and differential. The motor is a permanent magnet synchronous reluctance motor that uses internal permanent magnets, IPM. The drive unit also has a main microcontroller, power supplies, and other components. The BMW iX3's drive unit is a fifth-generation electric motor, transmission, and power electronics assembly that's housed in a single aluminum casing. The drive unit is designed to be lightweight and compact and to reduce the amount of space needed for installation. When the inverter is detached from the drivetrain of a Tesla Model 3, the intricate printed circuit board assembly is revealed. This assembly houses essential components, including the control circuit responsible for regulating the inverter's functions, the gate drive circuit that controls the switching of power devices, and the phase lead current sensor that monitors current levels. Additionally, it features connections to silicon carbide MOSFET devices, known for their high efficiency and performance. Conversely, the disassembly process for the inverter in a BMW 93 is a bit different. To access the printed circuit board assembly, the technician must first remove an aluminum cover. This requires unscrewing the cover, providing a protective layer that encases the delicate electronic components within. When the Tesla Model's 3 PCB is removed, it exposes the copper bus bar with the AC terminals. Additionally, the removal reveals the combo film DC link capacitor bank, 
rated at 430 volts DC and a capacitance of 550 microfarads. This capacitor bank plays a crucial role in stabilizing voltage and filtering out noise. In contrast, the printed circuit board, PCB, of the BMW i.x3 contains the control circuit, the gate driver circuit, and a variety of connectors that facilitate communication and power delivery. Unscrewing the PCB, one can observe the underlying power module and the AC terminals of the inverter, both of which are essential for the vehicle's electric drive capabilities. Let's examine the silicon carbide MOSFET module connected to the inverter housing of a Tesla Model 3. The module includes 24 silicon carbide MOSFETs, with four devices in parallel for each switching position. Each MOSFET has five terminals, drain, gate, Kelvin source, source, and an isolated thermal pad. In contrast, for the BMW i.x3 inverter, the power module is attached to the DC link capacitor bank, with the detached power module highlighted. This power module features a three-phase reverse conduction IGBT, RCIGBT, with a capacity of 1200 amperes and 750 volts. Each phase contains two parallel RCIGBTS, resulting in four per half bridge and a total of 12 in the module. Let's open the lid and look at the inner components of the inverter housing of the Tesla Model 3. The high voltage connector slot and the low voltage connector are both highlighted. Also, the heatsink responsible for dissipating heat from the silicon carbide MOSFETs, along with the housing for these MOSFETs, is highlighted. The coolant passage cover protects the flow of liquid coolant, which is essential for dissipating heat from the silicon carbide MOSFETs within the inverter. There is a coolant inlet that allows liquid coolant to enter the coolant passage cover, as well as a coolant outlet where the coolant exits the inverter system. On the other hand, the power module in the BMW iX3 inverter has an inbuilt heatsink. The input DC terminals of the power module are highlighted with the three output AC terminals of the power module. The assembly of the power module to its coolant jacket is of interest because no bolts were used. Instead, an adhesive was utilized. In addition, the power module is molded using epoxy, making it impossible to check the switches used. Epoxy has many advantages over commonly used silicone gel, such as better heat conductivity. However, they could be too rigid and cause issues due to thermal expansion. Thanks so much for watching our video comparing the inverter structures of a Tesla Model 3 versus BMW i.x3. Watch out for more interesting videos in the coming weeks. Remember to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Thanks for your support.